All right, guys, I'm going to show you how you can back up your website and restore it on a brand new domain in a simple, easy steps. I'm going to show you the problems that I encountered and how I get over these problems in order to do this. It's not hard to do, but sometimes, you know, errors do happen. And so you have to figure out how you triage that error and how do you get past it. Let me show you how you do that right now. Okay, so guys, I'm on my jasongerald.com website, and I want to take this entire website and move it to a new domain, which is jasongerald.club. Now, I'm going to do this with a simple plugin, um, and let me go to my dashboard here, and I'm going to use the all-in-one WordPress migration, and in order to get that on there, all you have to do is search for plugins and add a plugin and type in all-in-one, just type in all-in-one, and it will come up right here, all-in-one WordPress migration. Now, I did pay for the upgraded service, and there are ways you can get around it, but I don't recommend that. I don't recommend cheating somebody to, um, because there, it, it, there's a limit of what you can download and upload to a new site, new site. So I did pay for the full version of the plugin, and which is important, I think. Um, all-in-one, and it's an unlimited extension so that and I'm going to update that to make sure everything's working properly. Okay. Um, if I, especially if I'm going to use it. And then now I'm going to go to right here and I'm going to just file export and I'm going to let this run. And it'll take about, depending on your speed, I'm already at 49% complete, but it'll take, it'll be pretty fast and you can upload it. Um, Look, it's already done. Um, so what I'm going to do right now, you could go from right here, but I find it's easier to go into the backup section, and you'll see it's right here, okay? I usually just download it to my hard drive so I don't waste space on the server that I'm, that I'm working on, okay? And I just download it, and you'll see it's downloading right here. Um, and once this is done downloading, I'm going to go ahead and restore it on my new website. Okay, and let's let that process. It shouldn't take very long. Okay, it is done. Now, I have a very fast server. I'm using skyviewhost.com, and they're very, very fast. So, as you can see, that went pretty fast. All right, so now what I want to do is go into this jasongerald.club, and I'm going to have to load WordPress, and then you have to install this plugin. Uh, the all-in-one migration plugin again. So if I look at my plugins, the only plugins I will have is the all-in-one migration. I want to update that plugin because you want to make sure you got the latest version. And then I've got the all-in-one plugin migration right there. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to import that particular file and I'm going to go grab that file off of the hard drive that I just installed. And I did this a couple times here. Which one is it? Give me a second. Oh, let's just look at the time. It is 9.42. So right there. It's this one right here. So let's go ahead and install it. Now this may take a few minutes to install. So I'm going to put us on pause. And then when I come back, you'll be able to see where it is. And if it fails, I'll show you what we need to do next to fix this. Okay, so if you run up against this error where you try to import your file into your new website, you're going to get unable to import. Um, I'm going to show you how you can fix that right now. Okay, since it didn't work through the import process, I'm going to use the file manager. I'm in my control panel for my hosting, skyviewhost.com, and I'm in my control panel right now, and I can do FTP or I could go right through here, go file manager, and I'm going to actually go into the public HTML, and here's the WordPress site. And then I'm going to go into WP Content, and you'll see backups right here. And I'm going to log into that directory. And now I'm going to just uh, import or upload that backup file. So I'm going to select the file. And I'm already in there. So this is the file I want to backup and open. And it's just going to install that file directly here. When it's done, I can go back to um, WordPress and the plugin and back up my website right there. Instead of using the import process, I'm using the backup process, which I'm copying the actual file that I restored previously 
to my hard drive and then I'm it went through the FTP or the file manager in my control panel and then I'm going to be uploading that file to the backup directory and then I'll reinstall it. So when this is done I'll go ahead and put the video on pause and come back when it's done. All right that only took about a minute and I'm already backed up as you can see right here. So now if I go back um, to my file manager and restore this you'll see that there is a file there. Whoops, let me go back into HTML content, my backup folder right here. And now you see the backup right there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close that window out. I'm gonna go back into um, jasongerald.club and now all I need to do is restore this, this file right here and now I'm going to go to my backup section and there it is right there. It's already there. Now you're not going to want to download it again because you already back, you've already loaded there. What we need to do is restore. So when you hit restore, you want to make sure you're on the right website here, which I am. It's going to restore the entire everything. Now it's going to ask you because it's going to overwrite your, your database and your everything on your file. So whatever you have on your WordPress right now, it's going to completely wipe it out and put a brand new copy over of it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the proceed and I'm going to let this run. Uh, it may take a couple of minutes to get set up, but once it's done, you'll be able to have a complete restore of your website. All right, I'm going to put it on pause and we'll see what happens here. Okay, I have completely backed up my website now, and I, I exported it from jasongerald.com, and I backed it up and put it directly on jasongerald.club. Now, you can see right here, your data has been imported successfully. And so now what you're going to want to do is make sure the permalinks are all set up correctly. Now, here's a key. You have to make sure you log in with the user ID from jasongerald.club, because, or excuse me, .com. Um, because the original one you do it because it's not going to have your um, e e -R -L -D. it's not going to have the the one that you set up for originally to get it set up because it's copied everything over that may even made sense it didn't did it all right so got it let me log in okay I'm set up we want to make sure that we set the permalinks and save and we're going to save one more time to okay and let's save it one more time and now we should be able to view in another tab and you'll see that I have the complete same so jasongerald.club is the same as jasongerald.com and let me go there and see it looks exactly the same so you're going to not see any difference between the two websites. So that's how you back up and restore it when you get an error. All right. So if you have any questions, make sure you uh, let me know. And just below here, if that made sense to you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I'll be doing a lot more videos just like this. All right, guys, have a great day and I look forward to working with you. Bye bye.